Her normal jaw is made up of two completely different dentitions, a primary dentition and a permanent one. The first dentition consists of 20 teeth. These will be replaced, one by one, by permanent teeth. Each primary tooth has the task of maintaining the space for the permanent tooth that is forming underneath. If, for some reasons, a primary tooth is pulled out too soon, the space stands a chance to close up, preventing the permanent tooth from positioning itself in the right way. Among other things, this is why it is imperative to take good care of the first dentition. If decay progresses to the center of the tooth, it is possible to salvage it and avoid the formation of an abscess. For an adult, a root canal is recommended. For a child, many reasons compel the dentist to avoid this treatment on a primary tooth. We have to take into account that a child usually does not have the patience to collaborate for such a long treatment. To this must be added the cost of the treatment. While it is reasonable to pay for a tooth that will be there for a long time, on a tooth that will fall in a few years, the same intervention seems costly. Moreover, a primary tooth is insufficiently sturdy to resist the compacting of a root canal. For a child, the dentist will suggest a pulpotomy, a simple, fast, and inexpensive procedure. However, the pulpotomy is not ideal on a permanent tooth because of its short time efficiency. To avoid discomfort, the pulpotomy is done under local anesthesia. The procedure consists of removing the decay to the central part of the tooth called the pulp. A liquid product is then applied to the bottom of the cavity. This product destroys part of the pulp while disinfecting the area. Following this, we coat the area treated with a material containing eugenol. This is a soothing product for the tissues of the tooth. Then we close it with a filling. A tooth, thus treated, can keep its place and save the available space for the adult tooth to come.